Hello and welcome to another video for Power Query case study. In this video, I am taking a sample data set provided by my dear friend Chandip Chhabra on his YouTube channel named Goodly. He has given this challenge a while back to convert multiple column data into a simple columnar data set. Now here on screen, you can see that we have a sample data set of age of people across various cities. The data for each city contains two columns. This data for cities instead of being stacked one above another like our address case study, here it is stacked across columns next to each other. You can alternatively say that data is stacked across rows in this sample. Now we need to convert this data into a simple columnar data set like shown on the screen. Chandip has provided a very detailed and neat solution on his channel. The alternative solution of using pivot and unpivot column which he mentioned would break the streaming of Power Query was not shown in his video. Now in this video, I am showing you that alternative solution which will not break the streaming of Power Query. So you may also think about this alternative solution for this task. So with that, let us get started. Now here on screen, you can see that I have this sample data set and I have given a range name to this particular data as called as data. Now let us quickly import this data inside Power Query. Now I have already imported this data and here on the right hand side you can see that for applied steps there are two steps been added. One is change type and promoted headers. So I will quickly delete those both of the steps and will keep the data as it is which is shown in the, our raw data set. Now I will be simply duplicating this and now for this query I will give a name headers only and I will keep only the top two rows over here. So we will select keep top two rows and delete rest of the rows. Now let us quickly load this data as a connection only inside our Excel file. Close and load to and only create a connection. So this way you can see that the entire data set has been loaded as a connection only. So let us now double click headers only query and we get into a edit mode. Now we will quickly transform this into a proper header rows. So let us first click on transpose. The data set will be converted like this. Let us select column one and then click fill down. It has been filled down. Now let us quickly select both of this column one and two and then click merge columns. And we'll use the custom separator and keep the column name as merged only. So that is fine. Now let us transpose this column back and you will see that our two column header rows have been converted into a single row itself. Now we will append this to our first original data set so that column one, column two will get appended properly. Now let us go to home and append as a new query. Now this will be appended as a new query. Headers row will be at the top and then the data, original data will be at the bottom. So here you can see that this data set has been appended. Now let us first promote this first row as an header. Let us remove the top two rows. Remove top two rows since we no longer require that. I have added that. Now let us quickly go to add column and click add index from one. You have added that. Now let us select this index column. Right click and unpivot other columns. Now here we can see that this has unpivoted properly. Now let us quickly split this city and other columns name. Let us go to home split by delimiter automatically it will get selected let us click ok this has been selected now what we will do we will select this attribute 2 and then go to transform pivot columns under values we will be selecting value and advanced we will say don't aggregate and let us click ok so here you can see that our data set has been converted into a proper way now i will no longer require this index column let us remove this let us put city, this will be a name and this will be a age. So this can be a whole number, this can be a text. So this will be a text and let us now click close and load. Now here you can see that we have the data set into a proper columnar format without breaking the streaming of power query. So that's it like guys from my side. See you guys in next video.